Absolutely, Chris, and we were watching this well ahead of landfall. I'm showing you a snapshot of the tornado warnings that were in place across the southern half of Florida. Over 150 tornado warnings issued, and that was as of 6 p.m. last night. So this was before uh, Milton even made landfall, and this was an infographic actually tweeted out by the National Weather Service in Miami. These tracks are preliminary, but they move from south to north in southern Florida there. Uh, at least five out of the seven tornadoes there have been confirmed, and of course the tracks are preliminary, but we do know that those tracks, uh, the tornadoes unfortunately did cause some injuries. Now these are all the tornado reports in the last 24 hours. I want you to notice how a lot of them are piled in across not just South Florida, but along the eastern coast. And again, well ahead of Milton's landfall. In fact, 47 tornado reports. Now, a few of these reports could be two people seeing the same thing. So that's what is going to eventually come out of these surveys after, of course, Southern Florida continues to dry out. Another important note here, this is our satellite and radar now, but I'm going to show you the track. Note, remember how I showed you all those reports? They were mainly on the southern part of the state. Well, all of those came on the southern side of this track, which is very, very common with these kind of tropical systems. What's not common is the strength of those tornadoes, and of course, we'll know more about that in the days to come.